Hello everybody and welcome back to Pineal Gland Cystic Brain Tumor and Mental Health Awareness Campaign. My name is Aisha Barbosa. Hello. I just want to give a big shout out to everyone in Fort McMurray. Thank you so much for your continued love and support and donations on my GoFundMe page. Not only are you watching my videos and sharing them on your Facebook pages and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is amazing, thank you. But you guys have made up a large portion of my GoFundMe page, and I can't thank you enough for helping me with that. A big thank you to all my friends and family and complete strangers who have also donated on my GoFundMe page. Thank you so much. This upcoming brain surgery is being made possible because of all of your contributions. Thank you. Today's topic is about experiencing what many of us have gone through while suffering from chronic pain and that's known as secondary loss. This will be a new video series and I hope you guys like it. It came to me when I went down recently to the States to visit my grandfather who was having heart surgery. My mother, she works in hospice care and she knew a grief counselor who too suffers from fibromyalgia. And if you guys have seen my last video, you'll know that I have been previously diagnosed with fibromyalgia and it it's very painful on top of having my two brain tumors, the pineal gland cystic brain tumor and the posterior pituitary lesion. So I have suffered a lot of secondary loss. And when I met this grief counselor, she explained to me what that was. And I want to share that information with you guys. Every day I suffer from chronic headaches from these brain tumors and chronic body pain from fibromyalgia. Over the past year, I have experienced many kinds of secondary losses, and you best believe I miss my old life. <laughs> but I believe that I am going through what I am for a reason. And I wanna share with you guys what I learned from this grief counselor that's helped me in my life. And I hope it helps you. What do I mean by secondary loss? Well, secondary loss can be anything from the loss of a job, loss of your health, loss of your future goals and plans. Each one of these losses that I just spoke about, I have experienced in the past year. Today's topic on secondary loss will be the loss of shared household chores and duties. I'm going to use a marriage as an example, but you can apply this in any relationship that you are in, um, any type of family circle, support system that you have in your life. In a marriage and partnerships, we sort of assign and take on tasks and duties around the house. Sometimes it's a discussion, but most of the time it's an unspoken agreement of splitting up the work that needs to be done. So when we lose a partner to chronic pain and chronic illness, we find ourselves doing tasks around the house that used to be his or hers, and it can make us feel completely gutted. I've heard stories of people grieving to the point of where someone could be mowing their lawn, and just the act of mowing the lawn reminds them of their spouse or their partner who can no longer mow the lawn and it breaks them down. It's not because mowing the lawn is truly a hard task. It's the only reason why they're out there in the first place is because the person who was supposed to be doing the task can no longer do it. And they are reminded that. When faced with a task originally handled by the chronic pain sufferer, your spouse, your parent, the griever, is going to find that they are not only challenged at having to learn something that they probably never really enjoyed doing around the house, but the heartbreaking reminder of why they need to be learning to do it in the first place, because you're sick. Now that's from the eyes of our spouses. That's from the eyes of our mothers or our fathers or our kids who see us and have to pick up our slack. 
but it goes the same way for us. We too are grieving the loss of our previous life, the loss of being able to mow the lawn. We could be inside watching our spouse mow that lawn for us and we could be crying because that was something we used to really enjoy doing. So what do we do with this information that I gave you today? We've been able to acknowledge our partner's feelings and that's important when we're chronic pain sufferers. We don't want to take our pain out on those around us, but unfortunately it is inevitable. So our partners, we need to acknowledge their feelings and we can't get too self-absorbed in ourselves and our own pain. Okay, Laisha, well, what am I supposed to do with all this information? What do you mean? So uh, I should feel bad that my spouse has to pick up my slack? Thanks a lot for pointing it out. You know, like that's how it can come across. That's not what I mean. But we need to acknowledge our partnerships. We need to validate with them that we are so thankful for their help. And that we may not be the easiest people to deal with day in and day out because of our pain and our suffering. And that they too have pain and suffering because they're losing a part of us. By acknowledging secondary loss all around in our partnerships, our marriage, our support groups, our support structures, our family dynamics, by everyone acknowledging that everyone is at a loss with you suffering from chronic pain, you suffering from chronic headaches, everyone is affected. Then we can put ourselves in each other's shoes and we can really start to thank each other for their help and their love and their support. A lot of people are concerned that they aren't grieving properly, that they're not coping properly with losing their job, losing their health, that the ways that they're coping is not normal. Well, I'm going to attach a couple lists at the end of my video that you guys can look over and feel free to read through them. These lists, it's a way of saying, of course, you're having a hard time because every single part of your life has been affected with this loss this chronic pain and the suffering. They're going to validate that what you are doing is not wrong and it's not different than what anybody else like me and you who suffer from chronic pain does. It's completely normal and you are coping great. <laughs> I'm proud of you and keep it up. Thank you for watching the pineal gland cystic brain tumor and mental health awareness campaign on secondary loss. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy this new series. Please leave me a comment down below. Hit the like button. Please share my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you feel it in your heart, please donate on my GoFundMe page towards my upcoming brain surgery. The link is listed down below as well. Thank you, everybody. I love you. You take care of yourselves, and I hope you're having a good day. Mwah. Mwah.